Okay, so if I've done everything correctly, there should be a new ending here. Please tell me there's a new... Oh, please tell me there's a new ending. This looks new. What's this? This is different. I'm sorry, Freddy. My father need. Who's saying that? I'm sorry, Freddy. My father needs me now. Gr Greg Gregory? In the FNAF DLC, will Gregory finally reveal that he is a robot? A robo boy? A Greg bot? Or perhaps it's something a lot more simple and he's actually just a real boy? Then hold on a second. If Gregory's just a normal, real life human boy, then why are there clues all over the game that suggest that Gregory is actually William Afton's son, the crying child? It's all very confusing when it comes to my dear sweet Gregory, but in the DLC, which is coming out next year, we're gonna finally learn Gregory's deep, dark secrets. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of Science with Paparaz. The series in which you give me your myths, theories, and experiments to blow open the secrets of FNAF Security Breach. And in honor of everybody's favorite superstar, we're going to be focusing today's episode on Gregory and the new information we have about whether or not Gregory's an animatronic. What we find out in today's video is going to absolutely blow your mind. Gregory is none other than Gregory. But before we go any further, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to pose the question to you out there watching this video right now. Do do you or do you not think that Gregory is a big robo boy? Is Gregory our dear sweet superstar actually an animatronic? Tippity type your answers down in the comment section below. Is Gregory a robot? Yes or no? Anyway, let's go and look at some proof. Here, ladies and gentlemen, we see the Afton family in their natural habitat. While the Afton family is normally known for their aggressive behavior and their ability to end game with pleasure, they are currently very docile and not very active. However, present a juicy soul in front of Mr. Afton, and that will become a different story. That man absolutely loves a slurp of remnant. What? Guys, if you're hyped for another FNAF Security Breach Myth video, then please go ahead and smash that like button. And hey, if this video right here gets 1,000 beautiful likes in the first hour of the video going live, then tomorrow you will get another FNAF Myths video. I'm going to go ahead and use your myth theories and experiment to do with the brand new animatronic models that we repaired in the previous video. So if you have any myths to do with those creatures, let me know down in the comment section below. And to celebrate the upcoming release of the FNAF Room DLC, which is free, by the way, but you're still going to need the base game, but don't worry, Papa Raz got you sorted over here. So, if you would like to enter into competition for a chance to win one of the free base game copies of FNAF Security Breach, all you need to do to enter the competition is to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and leave a comment down in the comment section below. Now, the comment could be anything. Go ahead and tell me who your favorite FNAF animatronic is. Tell me which is your favorite FNAF game. Go ahead and tell me when you joined the FNAF franchise or anything goes. All you need to do for a chance to win a base copy of FNAF Security Breach is a like like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down in the comment section below. Good luck! Now, I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again. This room right here, down in the bowels of the Pizza Plex, is very, very important. As to what the purpose of it is, we still do not know. However, we've already seen that there are Easter eggs and potential endings coming from this down here. And we're going to come back to that in just a minute. We're going to get the head, and we're going to pop the head right back onto that seemingly crying child body. So, let's go have a little recap, in case you don't know what this is all about. This is the Afton family, down here at a little dinner table scene. We've got Michael Afton. Foxy bro. We got Elizabeth Afton over here, which is represented with this baby um, staff bot. We got big old thickums herself, Mrs. Afton, and my lord, I call her Bakery Afton because of all the cake she's presenting to us. Thank you very much, William Afton, for bringing on her into this storyline for us. We got Michael Afton, uh, William Afton, sorry. We got big people Afton over here. Why he's got a cape and a hat, still not certain, but he probably thinks he's some kind of wizard or magician. And over here, we have got the crying child, Represented by this staff bot without a head because RIP. <laughs> the reason I wanted to be in this room is a lot of these post it notes have great significance. People are, nobody's 100% certain over whose room this potentially is. Some people say it's Vanny's room, but why would Vanny, Vanny create the Afton family? It would make more sense for Gregory to recreate the Afton family because a lot of people are saying that Gregory is the crying child and that's why he's gone ahead and he's done all this. He's created his brother, his sister, his mom, his dad, and he's recreated himself over here because he's lost his frontal lobe. So he's done a nice little artistic twist to the staff bot by not giving it a head. Or... There's a secret third option that I've seen floating around the internet, and that is to do with Baby. 
Elizabeth Afton has created this room, which is wild. But I've been having a look at the room a little bit closer, and there is some evidence that might suggest it could indeed be Elizabeth Afton that's created this room. So let's go ahead and have a look. Now, in amongst all these random post-it notes, we've got some little distinguishing characteristics that might point towards who created this room and who might be the secret ringleader of the whole thing. So first post-it note we've got is right over here. Boom! Ice cream. Who likes ice cream? Who went bye-bye because of ice cream? Elizabeth Afton. Ooh. Beside the table once more. Boom. Another ice cream. Just the words ice cream written here. Right beside it, there is an ice cream cone. Now, the very last post-it note that points to who this could actually be that set up this whole scene actually gives me goosebumps. And it says, you are my family. We're going to quickly use the flying camera mode to have a look at this a little bit easier. Where are we? There we are. If we can go to this one, just there we are. You are my family. And it's written in very scrawly kid handwriting. That's a little bit of a stretch. I don't know what our handwriting was like, but it points towards it not being Freddy that wrote it, because Freddy's meant to be Michael. It's not going to be William Afton. I mean, he, he might write like that. I don't know. It looks like very kiddie handwriting. So that's why it points to more towards Elizabeth. Along with it, a load of posts about ice cream and obviously the other little bits of evidence. However, it's a massive stretch. It is a massive stretch to say that these little bits of writing... I, I, I can feel it. What does that mean? What does that mean? I can feel it. Is it the pain? There's got me written in... Well, it says it's, it's purple right in there. So maybe it was William Afton. Maybe Afton's got terrible handwriting. All of these little post-it notes, they've got to mean something. Who has written all of these out here? This isn't just kids scrawling little pictures down here. I think that this could potentially be Elizabeth Afton. And she's put together her family because she never really got to experience that family life, that bond her dad. He loved her, but loved her so much he created a robot that actually ended up endgaming her. Well done, William Afton. Father of the year. So yeah, let me know down in the comment section below. Do you think from the little bit of evidence here that it's actually Elizabeth that has put together this little scene and she's somewhere in the pizzeria and maybe this girl that we see is going to be some reincarnation of Elizabeth, just like it could be that Gregory is the reincarnation of the crying child. Now that would be a very interesting twist, whether it's a good twist or not, I don't know. Either way, let's get to the first myth. The first exciting myth of the day has been sent in by the fantastic Miss Diary. What if you play Princess Quest after ducking under Music Man? Let him make his way through the storeroom. Then you play Princess Quest while he's just standing there and see if he despawns after. Here's another question for you. Do you think the girl here in the Princess Quest mini games is actually the same girl that we see in the ruined DLC poster? A lot of people have been hypothesizing and speculating that they are one and the same person out to finish off uh, William Afton once and for all. But hey, as always, I would like to know your thoughts and feelings. Anyway, here we are in the very first Princess Quest mini game. We are here to go ahead and uh, make sure that we complete the first one so we can go ahead and play the second one because the second one is the one that we see over by Music Man. And that's the what the myth that we were meant to be going to play. So I'll see you over there. Okay, so let's come along and just double check before we go ahead and do the DJ Music Man section where we have to flip all the switches that we can actually play it. And we can. Okay, so we can play Princess Quest 2. Now, this myth is spawned off of the previous video in which I found a way that you could actually duck under Music Man. And then he just rampages down the hall on his own. It's absolutely hilarious. So today we're going to try and see if we can play the Princess Quest mini game at the same time as him running down the hallway. And hopefully he despawns by the time we come out of the game and then we're good to go. Another myth uh, solved and you don't have to worry about big scary music man coming after you. Mm -hmm. Kisses for my boy. There's the puppet sniffing a girl's shoe. Somebody pointed out that's a girl's shoe over there. I mean, to be honest, I would probably wear that one over the other one. But anyway, there we go. DJ Music Man, he's going to put his dirty little hands in here. Bay, I wouldn't do that, buddy. I, uh, I missed the fast toilet earlier on, so it's all over the floor. Look at DJ Nasty over here putting his little stank fingers in it. Oh, the music in here is just a vibe. I absolutely love it. The whole place is shaking. <laughs> okay, so here we go. DJ Music Man's about to dip out of there as soon as I pull this switch. Okay, so he's going to do it. Let's get ourselves into position. What we want to do is sneak below this guy's legs. Sneak below him and check out his undercarriage. That's what we're doing. We're just turning around, coming out of here. Oh, it locks... It locks it off. You can't actually play the game until this section is complete. So as you can see, he just runs away. 
He just absolutely dips out of existence. He's like, I don't didn't see what was going on there. Don't worry about a thing. And he just stops at the end of the corridor because normally you're supposed to be ahead of him and you just dive into the room. So he vanishes when all the lights come back on, but it looks like it locks you out of the story. Let's go back now that he's finished running along the corridor. Oh, can I not? I can, should be able to get... There we go. Let's go all the way back down to the ball. I'll be gutted if you can't do this because that sounded like such a good experiment or myth as well. I mean, we've always got to have myths that can be busted as well. But I really like that ad, the forward thinking ones, the ones that are out there. And this one looked like it was going to do that. Yeah, no, no way. We can't play it. But I, and I, as you saw before, we could do it beforehand. So it obviously locks us out during this like story scripted segment. There's not many, there's not too many scripted segments in the in security breach, but this appears to be one. Ah, how? How did you get? I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I don't know if you noticed that, but even though we haven't got a camera flash, we can actually still use it against Chica. Let's try it again. Nope, didn't work that time. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for that myth. Unfortunately, the myth was busted, but it was very forward thinking and me likey. The next exciting myth of the day has been sent in by the fantastic Jelly. Hold on, when Vanny gets disassembled, you don't actually see anything flying from her. So did she actually get endgamed? Well, I guess for science, we're just going to have to go ahead and endgame Vanny. I mean, it's for science, and we're all about expanding our big boy and girl brains over here. So here we go. Disassemble Vanny. So what the commenter was saying, what Jelly was saying was that when Vanny gets disassembled, nothing actually comes from her. She just collapses. Yeah, you're right. Nothing actually happens. And the sounds even sound like... Yes, it's the, it's, the, it's the robot arms going down and grabbing her and, and ripping her apart. But it doesn't look like they actually end game her i know it would be a lot more graphic but they could easily just do splatters of black ink like a shadow like we do see with a vanny so does this mean that vanny isn't actually end gamed so that means vanny could come back for the dlc vanny could still be the big bad in the dlc which as i was suggesting this could possibly be the canon ending that leads on to the ruined DLC. We just saw it there with Freddy. That's how Freddy looks in the brand new teaser that we saw, potentially for the ruined DLC. We saw that Gregory gets captured, but in this ending, Gregory hasn't left, so he's potentially still actually in the pizzeria. And then we saw Vanny over here. Vanny hasn't actually, well, it doesn't look it's suggested. It is suggested that she has been endgamed, but I'm telling you, in story world and media language, if you don't actually see them close their eyes, have a funeral, then they're potentially not actually gone until you actually see the life drain from their bodies. <laughs> I would not say that they are fully gone. So there is scope left for Steel Wool to say, actually, the robots didn't harm Vanny. They pretended or their circuits cut in or William Afton stopped them using the glitch trap virus just before they actually end game dirt. And Vanny's turned into Van Trap. And she is now there as an animatronic hybrid like Billy Afton was all them years ago. Either way, that's a very good point. The fact that nobody suggested that so far to me is incredible. I mean, they might have in the comment section below, but I haven't read it. So that's very cool, Jelly. Very cool and very interesting. So is Vanny going to be back? Everybody wanted Vanessa to be back in some sort of capacity because she was massively criminally underused in this game. So please, if this is going to be the ending, have them somehow suggest that Vanny wasn't actually endgamed. That would be really cool. Either way, hey, good catch. What do you think? Let me know down in the comment section below. Hey, old Mrs. Afton, you didn't have to give me a gift, baby girl. Hungry order now! Very interesting that this old poster is the one that's sitting in front of Mrs. Afton. It's almost like William Afton's been like, hungry, my wife. Well, let me remind you of the time that I helped endgame our son! So, it's very interesting that Fredbear, again, is the poster of all things that could have been in front of this family. That Fredbear poster, which endgamed this boy over here. That was it. That just seems like it's rubbing insult injury. And, and it's another little bit of evidence that suggests that perhaps this wasn't actually Gregory, the crying child, that put all of this together. Because why would he do that? I mean, I might do that. I have a, a sense of humor that would ro revolve around doing stuff like that. But maybe it was his sister that went ahead and decided to put that poster in that present box. It's all very... 
It's all very deliberate, the way that this place has been put together. Anyway, the reason we are down here right now is because I want to do some more experimenting with the broken head over here. I want to pop a head back on this boy's body. We're going to go down to see Afton and see what happens. There's been suggestions in the game now that we have found all of these secrets and the game has been updated so many times that new endings might be here. So we're going to reattach the head if I've still got it. Okay, here we go. Damaged head because that's what Crying Child has. He has a damaged... Oh, bless him. He has a damaged head. Okay, let's go and see if we can attach this bad boy. Hey, yo, Crying Child, want your head back, my pop... <laughs> I can't keep getting scared like this. I experiment, I experiment, I try, I try, and I just want, I just want a day without somebody making me wet my pants. Well, I guess we must be onto something, right? Well, we must be onto something if we're gonna get a jump scare like that. I don't know what. I, Ever I could have done to possibly insult Freddy enough to go ahead and jump scare me, but we're on to something, and I'm gonna prove this doesn't. This sounds like we're down with people often. There is, there is, there's Freddy. Why are we down here, but buddy? Is 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 there a reason we're down here? Your mother. Is it finally time to put an end to him once and for all? Finally time to put an end to this Afton legacy of pain and suffering. Finally time to put people Afton in the ground once and for all that he can never come back again. I don't just look away like that. I give a big dramatic speech. Anyway, Freddy, let's go. Let's go put an end to people after. I'm absolutely loving Security Breach. The game's been out for almost a year. That's right. At the point in time that this video goes live, the game has been out for almost a year. I think it's like a week shy of being one whole year. We've got to do some sort of celebration for that, like a celebration stream or something. Oh, man. To say I'm excited is unbelievable for the DLC next year. There's so many things, so many thoughts and feelings and theories, so many things that we still need to see happen. We need to know what happened to Vanny. We need to know more of Vanny's backstory. We need to know what happened to people after. We need to know what Gregory actually is. There's so many things. What is something that you want to see? What is the most most um, prevalent or the the, the the biggest thing that you want solved or to see in the DLC? Is it gameplay? Is it fear? Is it jump scares? Is it story? Is it lore? Is it Vanny? Is it Gregory's backstory? Is it finally seen an end to Afton? What do you want to see most? I want to see Vanny slash Vanessa. I, I think they deserve more. And this model, this model here, for the amount of time he's actually in the Security Breach game, he is going to be huge. He's going to be massive in the DLC. We're going to see him wandering around the pizza plex in pitch black darkness. That's where we're going to get the fear. The fear back in the FNAF franchise, because at the moment, it wasn't massively scary, was it? It wasn't massively scary, this game, not compared to other games, but it was very good in a sense of... Um, scope and lighting so if they manage to change all that to have the horror aspect the game's gonna be huge the game's gonna be massive that? bring fnaf back to the fear okay? baby anyway freddy yes, we gotta right. um we gotta go ahead and just complete this level complete the level put an end to afton and uh, hopefully find ourselves some some sort of new ending what is that thing? now that we found that gregory uh, we've completed the afton model the afton ritual whatever it was the after ritual has been completed. The after family has been all put back together. So, are we uh, gonna get a happy ending? Are we gonna get? Are we gonna get ourselves a little happy ending over here? Something to reveal what's gonna happen in the DLC. What? Ah! what do we do? The DLC. Which one is she on? This one. Roxy. Ayo, hey, if you haven't seen the previous video, the models, the new models of Roxy, Freddy, Chica. I was about to say Bonnie. But it's not. It's Monty. You gotta go and see them. You have got to go and see them. The video will probably be linked at the end of this one. You gotta go check it out. It's absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible designs. Some of the best FNAF animatronics I have ever seen. Incredible. But first, we must solve the uh, case of the people Afton. Look at him. Man should be collecting his pension. What's he doing going around? I mean, he's a go-getter. He's, you gotta respect the hustle. You gotta, you've got to respect William Afton's hustle. It's Chica. Which, door. what door? Is she, is she coming through this one? No, she must be on that one. But you're better get possessed there, Freddy. I think we got time, right? Oh yeah, we got plenty of time. Hey, oh baby girl, look at her. She is absolutely fantastic, absolutely beautiful. Do you know what? One myth I've never tried is to try and use both doors at the same time, because there's there's just no need for it. 
But both doors definitely take up both power. We learned that in the previous video, but I can't remember if I uh, uh, cut it out of the video. But have a look at that door. That door's not been touched yet, and it's already lost some of its power. But the middle door, that has its own power system. Very interesting. Little, little parts of the game that you just learn. Every day's a school day. In it, Freddy. Every day, what would you like to learn more about? Your mother? And this game over here, this Balloon World game, that was meant to work. At one point in time, that game right there, that was meant- Why else would that game be down here, right? Why else would Balloon Boy and the Sun be down here? That game, at one point in time, was meant to work. You were meant to complete the one that was in... Uh, the Sun and Moon special secret room. That was there. And you were meant to solve that one, and they come down here and solve the the other one. That was meant to happen. I don't know if it was cut content or maybe it's content meant for the DLC. But at one point in time, that was meant to happen. Right, Freddy? So I'm hoping in the DLC, this room should still be here. Actually, no. If you do this ending, this room collapses. All It all depends on what r ending you think is the canon ending. It all comes down to that. That's perfect timing there, Freddy. That's brilliant timing there. Thank you very much, Afton. Because so, if you believe this is the, the, the real end and the place collapses, the place just goes to ruin. We'll have a look at it in just a second. So this place would not exist, therefore... Whoa, 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 mamma mia! Wow! Uh, them eyes be looking at me. Jeeker, jeepers, creepers, look at the peepers! He's coming out of one, isn't he? We're about to lose power. We're about to lose Freddy. Fre How does Freddy lose so much power down here? Oh, I suppose William Afton tries to get in, in about him, doesn't he? So he probably drains his power. But yeah, so I, as I was saying, if this is meant to be the canon ending, and you do the ending, we'll have a look at it in just a second when the whole place just falls apart, doesn't it? So that Balloon Boy game would not be there. It'd be destroyed. Anybody else coming? Yes. Freddy, why did you not warn me she was coming? Are you good, bruv? Come on, Freddy! Earn your keep, buddy! Wait, what? You- Freddy! Freddy! Freddy's broken! Freddy's broken because- he, the, he wasn't even doing the noise! William Afton was just taking control of him! Have you just given up? No, man, Freddy's given up on life! He's had enough! <laughs> he said you've been playing with me every single day for almost a year! I've had it! I've had it with your face! <laughs> Give me the DLC already! I'm telling you, we must be onto something. We must be onto something because this is like turned into ultra hard mode. Because Freddy wasn't dancing, there was no cues, there was nothing to show that William Afton was taking possession there, other than William Afton leaving the room. This is ridiculous. We are definitely onto something here because this is just turned into like hard 50 20 mode. I think this is the last one. I think this is the last burning. But let's keep an eye on him. Because he's going to pop in that door, and we've got Freddy on the same screen at the same time. So he's going to start taking over Freddy. And Freddy, Freddy doesn't move, he doesn't do anything. Freddy! What happened there? That was ridiculous! Anyway, here we go. As you can see, the whole place is falling apart because we're just burning Afton. There we go. Oh, the place probably falls apart, actually, because the blob is there. And here we go. Freddy and Gregory trying to run away. The place is collapsing. The blob's going through the fence. They try and go to the elevator. It's not certain whether or not Freddy and Gregory actually escape out of the elevator, but I think everybody's assuming that they probably do. They probably escape out of there, but we don't know. So, that was the two-star end in there. Nothing was changed. I'm hoping there's an extra scene at the end of these credits here. That's usually where the extra stuff's put in the secret endings. But... Because that was the two-star ending, people believe that this probably isn't the main ending. Which means the real ending, the canon ending, is the three-star ending, which is the ending where you free Vanessa from uh, Glitch Trap's virus, and Vanny is no more, so they escape, and, and it's Freddy, Gregory, and Vanessa escape, they have ice cream on a hill. Absolutely amazing. It's beautiful, it's picturesque, and it's homely, and that's the kind of comfy vibe we want. But if that's the case, that means that this ending right here, in which we actually meet William Afton, isn't actually canon, and that's why they would come back in the ruined DLC. Who knows? 
Who knows at this point, there's still many, uh, many ups and downs, but it's December, baby. It's the end of the year, so I reckon before Steel will break off for their winter break to spend time with their families and friends, I reckon they're going to drop something, whether it's a teaser image, whether I'm hoping it's a trailer, because they said 2023. So even just a little teaser trailer, I'm hoping for that. Anyway, let's wait and see what this ending has for us. Okay, so if I've done everything correctly, there should be a new ending here. Please tell me there's a new... Oh, please tell me there's a new ending. This looks new. What's this? This is different. I'm sorry, Freddy. My father need. Who's saying that? I'm sorry, Freddy. My father needs me now. G Greg Gregory? Hey, oh, my boy Gregory. My boy Gregory's actually a... Nah, there's no way Gregory's an actual animatronic. What is... DLC is gonna be insane. Oh, the DLC can't come quick enough. The DLC cannot come quick enough. Gregory is officially a robot boy. Gregory is officially a sweet, sweet robot boy that needs just family love. Nah, that's so good. That's... I love this game. This game is just amazing. It just keeps getting better and better over time. And when the DLC drops in... Who knows how long? Because we're at the end of the year already. It was 2023. The free DLC is gonna be coming out. It's gonna be real soon. Oh, come on. On Steel Wool in December. You gotta drop a trailer, buddy. You gotta drop a trailer. Either way, I'm really excited to, to see what you've got coming. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. There was another Five Nights of Freddy Security Breach Myth video. If you did enjoy today's video, then please go ahead and smash that like button. A thousand beautiful likes. And tomorrow, you'll get a very, very special video. Once again, I want to say a massive shout out to good old Sweet Berry over on Twitter because without them, this video would not have happened today. So thank you very much to them. And obviously, thank you very much to you guys out there for all your myth theories and experiments. So if you have more of them, let me know down in the comment section below and I'll see you soon. Maybe in one of the videos that's right about my face just now. Click on one of them bad boys and I'll, I'll be there. <laughs> I'm a Rasbowski. You've been the beautiful raspberries as always for watching and I love each and every single one of you. Goodbye.